Scientists are growing mini brains in labs, and these blobs of cultivated human brain cells are transforming our understanding of neural development and disease. The organoid is an organ-like structure, and therefore, uh, the cortical organ, there's a brain-like uh, structure or tissue in the lab dish. And these can be drawn um, from cells of patients, which amazingly self-organize into a simple version of our brains. And this provides a major advantage. Essentially, this enables us um, to get a more faithful and fuller picture of how the brain works. You can get um, any kinds of cells um, from patients. Normally we get skin cells from patients which you can turn into stem cells and they use the stem cells um, to generate organoids. My lab is focusing on uh, motor neuron disease, currently untreatable condition, which leads to muscle weakness, also swallowing difficulties and to varying degree of dementia and ultimately it leads to the failure of breathing muscles and death within a period of three to five years. We don't understand the interactions with multiple factors that contribute to the disease development. And um, these organic models could help us actually um, how to prevent um, these issues. It would be quite difficult to take someone's brain out um, to do this. So the brain organoids are very useful because this is a kind of replica of someone's brain. It's not the same, it's not the exact copy, but a very similar uh, structure, and it represents the very similar cell types what we find in the human brain too. And this also serves as a drug testing platform, so we're hoping actually to test drugs, which might be a quite useful approach um, before we try them in patients. Scientists are also interested in studying other neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. And it turns out the organoids are very useful uh, for this too.